Abby Burson. Glad she's on our side. Now, we're off to Scotland to try and shoot something very unusual. We're on an estate in Galloway in southwest Scotland. Nick Late is just striding onto the hill, a rifle on his back. But Nick is not stalking deer. Oh no, he's after goats. Uh, Kevin, the, the stalker, he spotted them up, up there, t t two uh, parcels of goats up on the hill, and uh, we, we set off after one. There was a real big black billy, and uh, basically we got to within 250 metres, uh, going for the shot, but with it, the way the wind was and everything, it, I think it was pushing it a bit too much, so we decided to go across to the other, other side, and we saw the big grey one, which I always wanted, really wanted to shoot a grey. A grey goat, so... Is, is, this a, is this a decorating It must be, yeah. Reason? <laughs> no, I, just like, I just like the colour. You've got grey walls at home or grey carpet or something I think it right really matches what's going in my air, to be honest with you. <laughs> Nick is a joiner by trade. His stalker, Kevin Gibson, used to be a joiner. Now, he has a better life. Well, we just basically spotted them from the forest, made our way up through the forest to the edge of the hill, then we got downwind of them and followed them up, up a gully, uh, got round about them, first group were wrong side of the wind so we didn't get a shot on them, there was actually a, a better billy in amongst them, there's uh, there are actually too many of them at the moment, we've got to call them from time to time, uh, the forest commission tend to see them as a pest, we tend to see them as an asset to the estate because we've got some pretty good heads. People are prepared to pay to shoot a trophy goat. They're just living out like the deer, they're living off the heather up in the hill. Do they uh, do much tree damage? They do quite a bit of tree damage but they're uh, we're sort of fenced to sort of three feet so they don't come onto our tree. They go onto the commission side so but they just need to put a fence up that would solve their problem. I'm told they, they go back to Viking days. They were brought here by the Vikings you know for food and when the Vikings left they went wild but whether that's true or not I'm not so sure. Yeah we tried for the big the big black one first uh, but basically what, they hadn't sent us but obviously they knew you know, something was amiss and they decided to go further and further up the hill and I wasn't all that keen about taking a shot uh, with the conditions at 250 plus metres so we decided to go down onto the lower set and, and uh, took two goats out there. We got in amongst them and we shot Shot quite a good billy, and a young billy as well. So it was quite successful, I think he was quite pleased. The first one it was, wasn't was going down, so obviously I reloaded and uh, I whacked it again and, and, it, and it went down. Uh, but the second one, uh, first shot kill, uh, excellent. Yeah, about 130 yards, I think, something like 130, 140, so yeah, over the moon. Nick explains the tools of this job. It's a uh, Seiko 75 in 6.555. It's moderated, yeah, with a T8. Yeah, and they're my home loads as well, 125 grain nozzlers. Yeah, they're, it's a good bullet. It says ice, 3 to 12 B56. Some of them will be gold medal heads in, in the GOAT rating sort of thing I would say. But that one today is average, it's about 20 inches. Um, now they're not as tricky as deer are they? They're not easy but they're... Uh, and they're not as flighty as deer? They don't run off just at the drop of a hat as soon as they see something. They'll, they'll make off quite slowly and they're sort of led by the larger belly of the group. There are two parties out on the hill today and the other one has some real luck. This is a silver medal head under Safari Club International's measuring system and it's in the top couple of hundred heads shot in Britain. The goat carcasses don't go to waste. Kevin's found a game dealer who will buy them for 15 quid each and he sells them on, he says, to butchers in Bradford. 